All right, so if you like distributed property, you're going to love this problem. So remember, when we're trying to simplify expression, we got to follow the order of operations, right? And one thing we recognize is whenever we have a number right next to a brackets or parentheses, that operation is representing multiplication. And we need to make sure that we take that term and multiply it to every single term inside of those parentheses. Okay, so there's your basic definition, right, of the distributed property. And it comes in many different ways. We can even do this with binomials and everything like that. But in this case, you can see each and every term for every grouping symbol, I have a four next to parentheses, two, and this negative two. So what we're gonna wanna do though is work on the innermost operation first. We're going to apply distributed property. Once we apply distributed property, we, we don't need the use of the parentheses anymore. Okay, so you can see once we distribute that multiplication, there's no more use for parentheses. And then what we can do is just I'll further go down the order of operations. So in this first case, we're gonna work on the innermost parentheses. Here I have here. I can't simplify x plus y. So I go out and I say, hey, this is negative four, multiply that. So what that means is now I need to multiply this negative four. Remember, it's a negative four, right? So it's minus four times x plus y. So it's a negative four times x and a negative four times y. Now, you don't need to always rewrite everything, but in this case, to understand exactly what we're doing, I'm just gonna rewrite the whole expression. Okay, I love writing that at the end. And you can see, I don't even know what this is. That's like the ugliest thing ever. But um, this is, hopefully you can just roll with me on here. So now let's go and look inside this expression. And unfortunately, there's nothing I can, can combine, right? I have a Z and X and a Y. Those are not like terms. That's like having an apple, an orange, and a banana. You could call them three fruit, right? But you can't say you have three apples, three bananas, or three oranges that are all different, all right? So let's go and apply. So we go outside this bracket here, and we notice, all right, we have multiplication by two again. So guess what? We need to apply multiplication one more time. Okay, and so you can see at each and every time that I applied the distributive property, what happened is when I applied distributive property the first time, I lost my parentheses. Now I'm applying distributive property a second time, I lose my brackets, right? And again, now we wanna look into, all right, is there anything that we can go and simplify? Be careful, I know my penmanship is not the best. That is a Z, not a seven. So at first when I looked at it, I'm like, oh crap, I can combine like terms. No, no, they're not like terms. That's a three and that's a two Z, not a 27. So sorry about that, just wanna make sure I'm confirming. And again, we have all variables and a number now. Again, nothing is the same. So guess what? We're going to apply, we're gonna look outside this grouping symbol and we recognize that, hey, I got multiplication by a negative two again. So now I'm going to distribute times each one of those. So it doesn't matter if you have two terms, doesn't matter if you have three terms, you know, this distributive property is still gonna remain the same. Okay, so a lot of times I like to, you know, kind of represent that with students is like, you, it doesn't matter, you can keep on growing it up, right? And you just need to make sure you, whatever is being multiplied on the outside, you multiply to everything on the inside. So now we can go ahead and wrap up this problem. And therefore, go ahead and simplify it, and I'll just double check again. I think everything else worked out good. Just be careful when you have this negative to make sure that you, sometimes I like to say it out loud, like negative two times three, negative two times two, negative two times negative eight, right? Just to make sure that I'm keeping these signs. But it looks like I did everything correct, so hopefully this video was helpful for you, and if it was, you're gonna love the next video I have for you here.